Good morning everyone. I am in the car again and today I've got a lot of errands to run. I've got a bunch of packages that I packaged up this morning for my Etsy shop and I'm currently at the car place like where you get your car fixed and that's because it is really snowing. It snowed like probably eight inches the other day and I got stuck three times trying to get into town and I just got stuck again trying to get here and that's because my tires are really bad. I just bought a new car like a month ago and the tires are bad and I just haven't gotten around to changing the tires. So I'm gonna see if they can do that for me because I I'm getting stuck everywhere and I'm afraid I'll just get stuck somewhere and there won't be someone to push me. So Yes, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I gotta go to the bank, I gotta go shopping for food, and then I gotta go get prescriptions. Got a lot of stuff to do today. I got my new tires on and I think they feel a lot better. I've literally driven like a couple hundred feet, but I feel like they have more grip on the snow, which is great. Now I'm at the post office and I've got like six packages I have to bring in and it's noon so well it's kind of like it's almost one o'clock so there's like a lot of people here probably on their lunch break and they're all like mailing packages probably for Christmas and I'm like parked at the way other end of the parking lot because it's so jam-packed full of people so now I have to carry like six packages like all the way across the parking lot and it's really not that big of a parking lot but it's cold outside and the packages I have aren't small like they're medium size so let's hope I don't drop them everywhere and hopefully there's not like a super long line I finished at the post office and then I went to the bank and then I got my prescriptions which only one of them was in so I have to or they have to order it and then it will be in tomorrow so I'll have to wait for one of mine, but that's okay. I still have some left at home. I've been out for like two hours now and normally I don't go out and like shop for that long. Normally it's like a quick trip in and out. So I'm starting to like fade a little bit, but I think I can make it. I'm at Walmart, which is my last stop and I just need groceries and what else do I need? I think that's basically it. I was supposed to get Milo some canned food, but I don't think I'm going to get that today just because I'm like starting to like really need to go home. I haven't eaten anything besides breakfast and it's 2.17 so I'm hungry and yeah just ready, ready to go home. I am home from shopping and I am so tired. It is 5.30 and it's so dark out. Like, do you see that? It's like pitch black outside. But I just got done with a live stream. I totally forgot I had it. I went shopping and I came back and I ate. And by the time I was like done eating, I looked at the clock and it was like 4.15 and I still didn't remember I had a live stream scheduled. And so someone from my Patreon started messaging me and was like, hey, are you gonna do the live stream? And I was like, oh my goodness, I totally forgot. So yeah, for those of you who don't know, I do have a Patreon for my main channel, 101 Rabbits. Patreon is just a website where you can support creators that you love. And so they just pledge money every month. And because of that, I give them things in return. I do live streams, I do stuff like that. So yeah. Anyways, totally forgot about the live stream, but I just finished that. It was like an hour and 15 minute live stream, I think, so quite a while. And now I am going to get a snack and I'm going to try to work. I'm fading a lot. I don't normally do this much in one day, but I've been feeling pretty good recently. So I think, whoa, lighting's bad. So I think I'll be okay. But. Okay, so these are all the items that I want to pin. So there's 15 of them. Let's see if I can do it. And I successfully pinned all of the things I was supposed to and now I get to relax. I decided to come downstairs to relax and I don't have like a chair or a couch or anything down here. So I just have a pillow up against the wall and then I have my blankets here and I am just sitting with the bunnies and we've got some Netflix there and I've got a big pile of hay 
and both bunnies are currently out. I just have a wall here and then a wall further down for Ebony's pen. But Sterling is kind of around the corner there. You can't really see him. But yeah, it's not nothing too special. I can't wait until I can finish their playtime area. I was basically waiting for the cages to be finished before I started on the playtime area. So now that they are complete, I'm probably going to go ahead and try to figure that out. I just have to figure out how to let them out at the same time without there being like a chance of them interacting and then I also have to figure out the flooring situation because these foam mats can only be used when they're being supervised otherwise they'll chew them they can use them in their cages because I have sheets on top of them but I don't want sheets because that'd be way too much laundry to do if I had like sheets all over the playtime area so what I think I'm gonna do is pick up really cheap rugs from Walmart or something but even the cheap rugs are like 20 bucks so I would need like at least three rugs per play area because I would need like so many rugs I think it would just start getting very expensive very quickly so I don't know I might just like try to get a couple rugs at a time not get them all at once I don't know I don't even know if I can transport rugs in my car I'll have to see if if I put the back seats down if I can slide them in and fit it but yeah that's what they've got so far but you know for temporary they probably don't even care it's more of like me I just want it to look nice but the bunnies are probably like I don't care hey guys so I am in bed and ready to be in bed and I have like picked at my face which is why it is all red. I have a really bad habit at like picking at things and picking at my face. I don't know if it's part of my OCD or if it's just me because <laughs> like some people are, are just like that and some people do it because like of OCD tendencies so not really sure but it doesn't really matter. So I had a little bit of a scare about a half hour ish ago maybe like an hour ago my blood sugar dropped for the first time that I'm aware of and I I'm not diabetic and I'm not diagnosed with anything to do with blood sugar but I got a machine I cannot think of the name of it I'm still kind of out of it and it's late so I'm out of it from the blood sugar drop and then out of it because it's late, but I got one of these in this summer back when I still wasn't diagnosed with POTS and I was looking into potentially another thing that could cause me to feel funny, um, like get those pre-syncope episodes, but I was pretty positive it was POTS, but I wanted to make sure I was covering all my bases, so I was like, well, I'll just get a glucometer, a glucometer, I think that's what they're called, um, to see if I'm dropping. But this summer I took it a couple times and it wasn't dropping. I probably should have stuck with it longer, but I realized that testing your blood sugar is very expensive, especially if it's not covered by insurance. So I was like, eh, it's just not worth it to me. So I stopped and I've only been testing it now when I feel funny. So I tested today. I, I don't even know what got me to test. I was really, I all of a sudden got really anxious and irritable and I was kind of thinking to myself I was like you know I don't know why I'm like this I think I just overworked myself today like I don't really know why I'm so irritable and um I was talking to my friend and all of a sudden I just started getting really like I can't even explain it, it was the scariest thing ever it was like super weak super like out of breath and super like shaky like I was shaking so bad and I was like you know what I haven't eaten a lot today let's just check my blood sugar and see what it's at and I checked it and I was like oh my goodness 68 like I know that's not super low like I know there's people who like goes down into the 40s but to me I was like oh that's not good like it's the first time I've ever taken it and it's been below 70 so that was pretty low for me so I was like oh my goodness what's going on um it just kind of got worse from there I was like by the time I was taking my blood sugar I was to the point where I was just like 
I was so out of it, but I didn't realize I was out of it. So I was like, okay, I need to go make food. And it like took me three times as long to make food because I was so out of it and had so much brain fog. I had no idea what I was doing. So I would like, I got the food out and then I was sitting there and I was like waiting for it to be done. And I hadn't even put it in the oven yet. So I was like waiting for it to cook and it was just sitting on the counter. So I like put it in the oven and then I forgot to set a timer. So it was just sitting in the oven. I was like, oh my goodness, I don't even know how long it's been in there. And then I take it out and I flip like my food over. And I stuck it back in the oven and I almost grabbed the pan without a hot pad. And I was like, oh my word, like what is going on with me? I was so out of it. It was like the creepiest thing ever and I've just never experienced an episode like that and I got pretty anxious with it too and I don't know if it's because I have anxiety or if it's just because when you have a drop in your blood sugar one of the symptoms is getting anxiety so I think that was kind of playing into it and it was just so weird and I just don't know what to think about it you know I didn't eat much today I my schedule was all messed up because I went shopping really late so I didn't eat lunch on time and then when I ate lunch I didn't eat supper at the right time so I I guess I don't know if 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 normal humans like if any of you guys know anything about blood sugar let me know but I don't know if normal humans if they skip a meal does their blood sugar drop or is it only if you have something wrong that your blood sugar drops when you accidentally like skip a meal like I don't really know exactly <laughs> I know nothing about blood sugar and I feel like it's really hard to find information out because I'm not diabetic I've, I've had tests for diabetes before and I'm not um, so it's hard to find information about blood sugar that's non-diabetic blood sugar stuff so I don't know I don't know I don't think I have hypoglycemia but you know it's something I just need to be aware of and if I start feeling like that again I need to test but I'm just a little out of it and I have no idea what to think of this blood sugar drop like maybe this is normal like maybe normal humans get blood sugar drops um, and they just don't know it I I honestly just have to say that was probably one of the scariest things I've been through in a while I think it was just I think it was scary because I didn't know what was happening like I didn't know if it was okay like I think people who regularly get blood sugar drops probably know what to expect and they know what is healthy what's not healthy so I don't know I tested after I ate and it was back up to like 120 which is great so I think I, I really don't even know what to think I know my blood sugar dropped and I felt horrible and now it's back up and I'm still feeling kind of horrible but I'm starting to like get out of that so yeah it was so bad like I was trying to like text someone and explain to them what was going on because like I couldn't think so I was gonna ask someone else what they thought and like my brain couldn't process the words it was just like oh so scary but yeah I'm glad it's over and yeah that's kind of it for today I don't really have anything else to say. Yeah, I I did a lot today, so I should be proud of myself and not give in to negative self-talk, <laughs> which is super easy to do. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight and thank you all for watching, and I will see you very soon on a new video. Bye!